morning everybody I hope that you are having a great Saturday morning so far and that you have a wonderful weekend and a great day today and um, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the new subscribers who have subscribed to my channel thank you so much for your support and for your positive feedback um, I try to reply to everybody in the comment section I try to do the best I can but you guys are just absolutely awesome and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it is very much appreciated and I hope that these projects have helped you guys to save money um, if you're in the special events industry that need to set up for sweet sixteens and anniversaries and bridal showers and weddings and that you're able to offer your clients um, affordable pricing because you can do a lot of this stuff yourself you can DIY a lot of your inventory yourself or um, you know if you're someone who's just trying to you know throw a sweet 16 or an anniversary party for someone and you're able to decorate and and um, uh, do some things uh, uh, in an economical way and also uh, for those out there who want to add a little bit of home decor and don't want to spend a lot of money and would rather do something themselves or they want to personalize what they have in their home that these uh, DUI projects have benefited you so anyway I uh, don't want to be too long winded we're going to get right into this video and uh, this video is going to be pretty quick because I'm just going to simulate what I'm doing uh, this is a vase using all Dollar Tree items but I'm just like I said I'm going to simulate it because you do need to let the E6000 sit for at least 72 hours when you do a project like this so I didn't want to keep interrupting the video so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you basically how you would put this face together and it's not really hard so what you're going to need is one of these 8 inch bowls from the Dollar Tree and um, this is a really good bowl to make a a base a centerpiece face with you're also going to need a pack of these low candles and they come two in a pack these are the really low sitting candle holders and I will I really love these okay so you'll need some of these you'll actually need four of them so you'll need two packs then you will need the infamous uh, Dollar Tree tapered four inch candle holder and you'll need three of these of course you'll need your E6000 because we couldn't be we wouldn't be able to do these projects without this and also make sure you wear your gloves because this stuff is kind of toxic um, you'll need a hole puncher and some plastic plates from the Dollar Tree okay so I'm basically going to simulate how you put this face together and it'll be quick and dirty which is great so I'm not killing anybody's time here okay so you start off with one tapered candle holder first um, then what you want to do is take your E6000 and apply some E6000 to the top of the candle holder and then put the shorter candle um, holder right on top of it the round one okay and then you probably just want to put a book on top of this and let it sit for about 24 hours you want to do two of them like that you want to take another one put your E6000 and then put the shorter candle holder right on top of it okay and you want to take these two pieces set them to the side and let them dry and I think that's the trick to keeping everything together and making sure that you have a really good bond as well as you know making sure that you remove any dust and debris with some alcohol swabs is to do your project in stages I've seen people like literally put these things together on camera and then a second later they're showing the finished product no that's not how it works I'm gonna keep it real with you you need to put a book on top of these two items and let it sit for 24 hours no less time than that because this stuff has to really bond and um, I don't think it's a good idea to put the whole pro you know, glue the whole entire thing together and then put a book on it. Because what happens is the glue is going to shift because it hasn't gotten tacky yet. So it's going to shift. So when you put your pieces down, make sure you eyeball these things, turn it around, look good, make sure everything is centered. 
wait probably about 30 minutes to 40 minutes for the E6000 to actually get tacky and then put a book on top of it okay and do each piece separately you will have a stronger uh, centerpiece especially if you're in a special events industry you don't want the stuff falling apart on you when you take it to you know the clients uh, venue so make sure that you do it in stages alright so once you've done that these two pieces will already be joined together then you take your piece you put another generous amount of E6000 and this has a very wide rim to it which is great so put a lot of E6000 join the two pieces together okay wait about 40 minutes and let it get really really tacky and then you can take this top part put your E6000 around the rim once again trying to make sure that you don't get it inside of the um, candle holder but just on the rim itself and then take your third tapered candle holder and apply it to the top I want to make sure this doesn't fall <laughs> okay and apply it to the top so I've used a little uh, scotch tape just to keep this together because like I said it's simulated just to show you what I'm talking about so um, just to review you have a four inch candle holder on the bottom you have two of the short pieces um, joined together and that's the second section the third section is another tapered candle holder and the fourth section is another tapered candle holder again on top of it so you have two upside down and then the last not the last part but the last part of the body of the um, of the vase is to join two more of these together with some E6000 and when you put when you put a book on this I would wait again 24 hours be, before you put this last piece on there give this whole thing some time to set um, so wait 24 hours so now this should be the second day by the third day I would go ahead and I would put this last top piece on here it's the last set of the very small candle holders joined together the round candle holders on top so by the third day you want to put your final piece on which is the 8 inch decorative bowl and this would go on the top and you would get your E6000 get your E6000 right there at the top and set it down and really look to the side just kind of look turn it around make sure that the bowl is sitting evenly all the way around on top of the shorter candle holders and then wait again probably about an hour for the glue to really get tacky use a generous amount of glue up here at the top and then once you feel like it's tacky and it's kind of started starting to stick then put a very heavy book on top of it and wait another 24 hours and you'll be done and this will be a very very solid piece but again I encourage you to put this together over a three day period just take your time um, do not rush these things do not try to put this whole thing together uh, with E6000 at one time um, because what I notice with these tapered candle holders is sometimes they're not even and if the glue hasn't gotten tacky it will shift and push some of these things out of line and you want to make sure that everything's flush everything lines up and if it doesn't line up it could look crooked so this is something that they don't tell you you just see them fast forward in the video and putting this stuff together and then you really don't know you know you really don't have a super super close look to see if it's actually sturdy um, if everything lines up every single piece of this base should line up and if you do it in sections you can make sure that that happens and if you wait for the 30 to 40 minute interval for it to get tacky you can adjust it a little bit if it slips out of place to make sure that it's all straight so um, here you have it this is an incredible base 
and uh, you can use this for so many things and I want to show you the finished product now so I'm going to just kind of take this apart so here is the finished product and this is sturdy this isn't going anywhere this isn't falling apart you see how sturdy that is okay this is not going anywhere this is solid as a rock so you have a very good product here and you can use this for again all types of events and I think this looks absolutely amazing and um, everything is flush lined up I love it and I'm actually going to um, I've made so many things that I've been happy with that I just I can't use all this stuff in my wedding I wish I could but <laughs> so anyway so it's done it's beautiful I love it we're going to get to the floral arrangement but one other tip that I wanted to share with you guys and that is actually putting some crystals on here so really cheap and dirty way to do this is um, I'm going to show you right now so if you want to add crystals to your vase and I think it looks so elegant um, there is a quick and dirty way to do this and I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm just going to sit this on top of here so you can see the crystals. A way to do that is to buy um, some plastic plates from the Dollar Tree or you can get them wherever you want. And uh, these are some that I got I think last year. And what you can basically do is take one of these plastic plates and get the uh, one hole punch and they also sell this at the Dollar Tree and just go ahead and punch holes in the plastic plate and you can punch as many holes as you, as you need you can figure out basically where you want to place the holes so I punched four holes in these with my hole puncher it's very easy to do it goes straight through the plastic with no problem and so I basically just did two on one side and two on the other side and then you can go ahead and take your crystal and this works really great with the ones that actually have a lot of the hoops on them and you just take the hoop I mean there's two ways you can do this you can either take the hoop and push it through the hole there you have it I just pushed it right through the hole or you can take some clear cord and you can actually loop it through the hole through the um, through the ring of the crystal and then just tie it uh, into the hole so there's two ways that you can attach this but this is a really simple and easy way to do this also what I noticed that's really great about this plastic plate is that it has a nice deep basin to it so if you're going to be using real flowers um, this is a great technique and a great way to uh, use this centerpiece because when you put the oasis in here you have some room for a little bit of water in the basin to keep the flowers fresh so I just think that this is an awesome idea and even if you're using um, artificial flowers sometimes when you use the hard floral foam or the soft foam it has a tendency to crumble and it could get the pieces could get inside of the base and you don't want your um, you know you don't want your clients or you don't want anybody to see this if you know you don't want anyone to see that whether you're doing this for a client or for yourself or family member or whatever you don't really want to see a bunch of crumbling um, floral foam inside of the vase especially if you're going to use use it exactly the way it is and you're not going to paint it so um, this is a good way to kind of uh, just secure things you could also glue down your floral foam to this as well so I just think that this is just a really really good way and it's just affordable economical and it just makes a lot of sense okay so this is it this is what it would look like and I think at some point I'm probably going to do a tutorial to show you how I make some of my hanging crystals um, this stuff can get a little pricey so I try to do things as um, affordably and as budget friendly as I can so there's a way that I make some of my crystals and I'll get into that. Um, you can order these pieces separately and different things like that from AliExpress. And it just makes a lot of sense to make your own hanging crystals because you can make them the size that you want um, as opposed to buying them commercially. So I'll get into that in another video. So I'm going to put all this aside and we're going to get to the floral part of this. 
So I'm going to move this a little bit closer. Also want to show you another option before I get into the florals. I'm going to link her video in the uh, description box below. But I believe it's My Life Full of Hope. And that's her channel name. And she did an amazing centerpiece. I think her video came out about two years ago. And she just did an awesome job. And um, I really liked how she uh, used the uh, Dollar Tree tapered candle holders to make her centerpiece. I thought it was ingenious. And uh, one of the plates that she used was, um, I think she used a larger one to this. There's a large one and then a small one. And this one I painted gold because this is coming from another project that I'm going to be uploading pretty soon. But she used, uh, she used these plates. And again, I believe they have the 7-inch plate and the 10-inch plate. But I used the 7-inch plate, the smaller one. And this is optional. You don't have to do this. But what you could do to add a little bit more height is to actually E6000 this down. Um, glue it to uh, the plate uh, and put the plate upside down. And then you have more of a base. And so uh, that's what she did in her video, and I want to give her credit for doing that. I thought that was really, again, very ingenious. And so that's another option. I didn't have time to do that in this video, but I just wanted to tell you guys that that's something that you could do. And also it adds stability to the base as well. So, all right, so just wanted to show you that. Now we're going to get on to the florals. Now, I am going to um, put in a section where you actually see me putting the flowers together a little bit. I'm really not that great with putting flowers together on camera because I have to kind of look at it, pull some things apart, move some things around. It's just not intuitive to me to just do it right there on camera. I'm going to be pulling pieces out, putting pieces back in, and it might be confusing for you. So I just put a couple of little clips um, of the floral arrangement but I'm going to move my camera so I could actually show you what I did and how many roses I used and if I talk you through it it probably would be a lot simpler than you actually um, watching me do it but I will show you a few snippets um, of me putting the floral arrangement together It's pretty big, it's quite full, so it's going to give you a lot of impact. Alright, so let me uh, pretty much kind of talk you through what I did with the florals. Um, and this is just a, this is a full view. And I'll just get a little bit closer. Okay, so basically what I did is I used, the majority of the flowers used in this arrangement was from the Dollar Tree. Some of the flowers were from Michaels and some of the flowers was from a store called Roses Discount Store. I think it's a good idea to buy flowers from different places. So um, let me recap real quick. The bottom hydrangeas, the purple hydrangeas and the pink hydrangeas on the bottom are from the Dollar Tree. So I used some purple and I used pink all the way around. The purple and white wisteria is from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and get up a little bit closer. It's from the Dollar Tree. The plum roses at the top were from a, call, a store called a Roses Discount Store. And they're really, really beautiful. Just a great way to add color and pop to your arrangement. The pink center rose is from Hobby Lobby. Excuse me, I did use flowers from, not Michaels, but Hobby Lobby. So all of the flowers, um, all of the pink flowers are from Hobby Lobby. So basically that's what I did. I used pink flowers from Hobby Lobby. I used purple and pink hydrangeas from the Dollar Tree. I used two pieces of wisteria from the Dollar Tree. And the plum roses are from Michaels. So that's it. That's basically uh, the rundown on the florals. Um, you can take your time and arrange the flowers however you want using any color that you want. 
um, it's just really up to you so that's it guys um, I'm completely done oh almost forgot I added one of the Dollar Tree push lights to the top of the floral arrangement and I think that looks really great and it's a nice way to bring some light to your arrangement if you're going to be in a darker setting so this is the push light that I use this is the Dollar Tree push light and uh, they still sell these and they're pretty popular and they work great also before I forget let me get up a little bit closer I also put in a little bit of uh, crystals and you can see that right there there's one crystal there and another crystal right there and um, I got these crystals from Hobby Lobby okay and let me pull it out so you can see it so this is what it looks like so this is the crystal and I basically just cut it down with a wire cutter and then just stuck it inside of my arrangement and that worked out really well and that just adds a little bit of jewelry and a little bit of bling to your floral arrangement so I want to show you that I only put in like a few pieces but I did use a lot of that for my wedding florals so that was what was left <laughs> so that's it and I'm just gonna pull back a little bit so that you can get pretty much a full view of the completed project okay and so that's what it would look like if you added the gold plate to the bottom and actually that's a pretty cool idea to just mix up the colors have the clear at the top and then you could either paint the the uh, plate gold or silver so I really like that ideal and again I feel like it stabilizes the entire piece when you put it down on the table so um, I didn't get a chance to glue that down but I would recommend that you do that and many many thanks to the young lady in the video excuse me the young lady with the channel called my life full of hope uh, she did an awesome job so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I hope that you do so so we can grow this channel together don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload new videos. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next DIY video. Bye-bye.